Hi beauties, welcome to my channel. Thank you guys so much for watching. For today we're going to do a few TikTok trends where we're going to do this bomb look. I don't know how it's going to turn out. We're going to try this new eyeshadow trick, but I, from what I've seen, it's a really good trick that will help people who are beginners. So if you guys are interested in seeing how this look turns out, then please stay tuned. Don't forget to like my video, like it y'all, comment below, let me know if you guys enjoy my content. If you have any suggestions, let me know as well. And if you're not subscribed to my channel, what are you doing? Subscribe to my channel if you're not subscribed. Subscribe to my channel if you're not subscribed. Subscribe. Subscribe. Hey, hey, subscribe. Subscribe to my channel if you're not subscribed. Thank you for your support. Thank you for watching. And let's get started. All right, beauties, we're going to start it off with our hydration serum from Lashing Out Glam. Getting the skin nice and hydrated and prepped before we put on our foundation. Next, we want to go ahead and put on our toner. This is also from Lashing Out Glam, and it is a rose water. And dry that. Then going in with the glow lotion from e.l.f. cosmetics and moisturizing the skin it is looking nice and glowing and healthy now we're going in with the e.l.f. cosmetics hydro grip primer and we are putting that around the whole face and making sure that that is nice and sticky then we're going to go ahead and go in with the setting powder this is called caramel delight from lashing out glam it is a cookie setting powder and it just is a, a powder that's close to my complexion that's going to neutralize everything and make sure that everything is mattified now we're going in with this pretty fresh foundation from ColourPop Cosmetics. I've had this for a while and I haven't used it for a while. And I decided that I wanted to start using some of the products that I have that I haven't used in a while. And I'm actually pleasantly surprised with this foundation. The coverage is really good. The color match is perfect. And it looks really, really nice and hydrating. So I definitely would recommend it. Next, I'm going in with the Pretty Fresh Concealers in um, a light color and a dark color for highlighting and contouring. I will list the colors below and we are just going to put those in all the places that we want to create light and shadow now we're going to go in with the P. Louise base in winter rose which I like to use as a cream blush and now we're blending I like to blend in my contour first in my order of steps then the blush and then the concealer so I'm just taking my time right now and blending the contour, blending the sides of the nose, making sure that that goes into the brow to really give it a nice um, sculpted look. That's not over the top though. I don't like to like have like a Michael Jackson type nose. I just like to highlight the bridge of my nose, but still have my nose still look the same. So right now I am just blending out the blush and now we're gonna go ahead and tap out the concealer and you just take your time when you're blending these things just tap them in don't swirl just tap 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 and it's going to all melt in together and then you just go in with the sponge to make sure that there are no harsh lines so i'm just taking my time right now and blending in the concealer in all of the areas where i applied it and as you can see the forehead went a little bit too high up so I went in with the contour brush without adding an additional product and just blended it down some to make sure that I didn't make my forehead look bigger the the um, goal is to make it look smaller with the contour around the forehead now I'm going in like I told you with the sponge to make sure everything is nice and seamless and now that it is looking so good we're going to go ahead and set everything with the setting powder we did one in before called caramel delight from lashing out glam and just tap a very very thin amount of that around to set the face prior to going in and setting the highlighting and contouring this will help with not having flashback as well as just help to um, absorb more oils so this is the snickerdoodle powder from lashing out glam it is a cookie setting powder and I am adding this to all of the highlighted areas because this is going to add brightness. Um, and this is probably two shades lighter than my complexion. So this is what we're going to do. The same thing that you do with a cream, you want to do with the powder. So since the cream was two shades lighter, you want to go with the powder that's two shades lighter. So that you don't lose that color and you keep that nice brightness. And I'm going to go over all of the areas where we added that highlight before. Going underneath the cheekbone is just going to help to make it look more lifted. And then always go around your smile lines to make sure that they don't crease. Now that I've patted it around in the areas I want it in, 
I'm going in with the sponge and I'm just tapping it in so that it melts into the concealer. Now I'm going in with the Blended Fruits Palette from Fruits Cosmetics and we're going to apply our contour. And as you can see, I tapped lightly into the contour and then I lightly brushed onto the face. I'm not putting any pressure onto the face. I'm actually letting the brushes, um, brush bristles sweep across my face really, really gently so that I don't apply too much pressure and too much product. You don't wanna to apply too much pressure when you're doing the contour because you can end up going in too harshly. So you just let it sweep very, very gently. A little product will add and you can always add more product but you can't take it away so just be careful as far as not adding too much product so you don't have to start over and i'm just using another brush to blend out that contour and adding my highlight in the outside portion of the nose as well as the center of the nose and leaving the sides where i want the contour to really be nice and um, defined empty and then just going over all of the areas where I highlighted it before once again just to make sure that I didn't lose any of that when I added the contour and then blending away the excess powder because we don't want that to set too long and leave a white cast I really just want that to be there to define the cheekbones now I went in with my fruits cosmetics eye base and coconut and this is an eyeshadow base that I'm using prior to putting on my eyeshadows to make sure that they are nice and pigmented and we're about to go into our first hack from TikTok. It is called a striped eyeshadow hack where you put the shadows on your eye in stripes and then blend it all together with one blending brush. And that is supposed to be the look. So that is what I'm trying here. As you can see, the colors kind of blend out where you can't really see the definition of the colors. However, it is a beautiful, simple look for someone who's looking for just a really simple look, who's new to makeup and wanting to learn how to blend shadows. I would suggest this hack for that. Um, if you're someone who likes to have different layers with your shadows, you will probably want to um, you know, do your shadow the way you normally do it. But this is a good hack for beginners if you don't know how to blend and you want to learn. So now I'm just adding some color underneath my eye to smoke it out a little, just a little bit of the redness to bring out the redness at the top of the eye. The look is really pretty, it's very simple. So I would say that this hack is a go, but I would say more so beginners will probably be more attracted to doing this than somebody who's seasoned and knows how they want their eyeshadow and how to get it done but if you're a beginner and you don't really know how to blend shadows which is not uncommon um i would suggest this just put the stripes get a blending brush and blend and then take your time so you can kind of get an idea of um how long it takes to really blend out the shadows right now i'm using the mlm beauty brow pencil and filling in the brows getting them nice and defined these were not my finest brows so don't hold me okay um, but we're just filling out the brows and then we're going to clean them up and make sure that we have a nice full looking brow versus my normal brows which are super sparse Cleaning the brows up with the concealer. And of course, blending that down into the shadows. Perfect, now we're gonna go ahead and do our second hack. Our second hack of the day is the liner trick for hooded lids, in which you take the liner from the bottom of the eye, make a line going up and connect it at the top and it's supposed to be a really easy way for you to do liner that shows up for hooded lids because for hooded lids, if your liner is too high, it gets hidden in your crease. And I think that this is actually a really good hack. The liner came out super easy. Both sides were even and I have hooded lids and I feel like you can see the liner and it looked good. So this is hack number two from TikTok and I definitely would recommend it. 
Next, I'm going in with the e.l.f. cream liner and adding that into my waterline. And I'm also going to smoke that out with the shadow that I have underneath the eye as well, so it's not too harsh. Now we're going to go in with our bottom line mascara from Lashing Out Glam. Get our lashes nice and popping. I'm loving how this is looking so far, getting those lashes extended. Now we're going with our lash glue. Letting that sit for just a second so that we can blend away the excess powder while it's drying. And boom, this is the final look. You guys, I'm sorry I lost the footage on putting on the lashes and the lips, but this is the final look and I am here for it. Let me know how you guys feel about it. All right, beauty, so this is the final look. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial with the TikTok trim we did today. We did the striped shadow and we did the liner that's for hooded lids that goes under. And I think both of them actually came out really good. So these are both really good hacks. I would say that are for beginners, beginner friendly, and they are bomb. I definitely would suggest that you guys try those hacks out. The face is beat and I'm here for it. I hope you guys are too. If you love this look, then make sure to give me a like and comment below and let me know if you're gonna try any of these hacks out. Don't forget to like the video, comment below, and if you're not subscribed, Subscribe to my channel if you're not subscribed. Subscribe to my channel if you're not subscribed. Subscribe. Subscribe. Hey, hey, subscribe. Subscribe to my channel if you're not subscribed. Thank you for your support. Thank you for watching. And don't forget to be your own kind of beautiful because there's only one you. Bye.